Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars and I have for you today the sixth in a series of videos on the topic on existing in harmony with other beings on and beyond earth by Alice B. Claggett. This is sixth in the series is entitled Pleiadian Raiders. The astral beings on earth of Pleiadian Raider descent are overlighting some of the human antisocial personalities and serial killers. These astral Pleiadian raiders may number 200 to 500 in form in the world today. They will be removed off world for the next 2,000 years because Earth will be too bright for them to exist in. There are a few planets far from here that are good habitats for the Pleiadian Raiders. In past, while the fallen angels, who were fractals of Archangel Michael, still walked the earth and flew through her skies, they would ferry these souls to their new off-world homes after they passed from form. The experiment with the Pleiadian Raiders, who are service to self, that's a category in the Law of One, which you can find online. The online address is https colon slash slash www dot law of one dot info forward slash. The experiment with the Pleiadian Raiders who are service to self here on Earth during the Age of Darkness was to find common grounds for these beings with those beings in the astral realm who are service to others in a temporary playground or habitat where both could meet and intermingle. There is still a great deal of mystery on both sides. Pleiadian Raider versus Beings of Light and further experiments are likely to take place in the next age of darkness. The solution for us human beings when we deal with these two types of astral and higher beings will lie in our developing neutral minds along the lines of the Buddhist teachings and also in our respect for all life everywhere. These teachings of neutral mind and of respect for free will and the all are also set forth in the Law of One just mentioned. From the point of view of the Raiders, primary social values are being respected, gaining power over others, and accruing wealth as their stance is one of supreme ego, they tend to coalesce around humans seeking enlightenment. By amping up a person's own ego, they present the ascending human with the phenomenon of the, quote, dweller on the threshold, end quote. This is the last test the glass ceiling that must be transcended in order to reach the level of Christed and Buddhic consciousness. Because of their presence here on earth during the ages of darkness, the state of Christed and Buddhic consciousness for the human being is much harder to achieve during those times when raiders stand as the hounds of the barrier, as described by Thoth in the Emerald Tablets. Well, that's all for now, dear ones. If you get a chance, take a look at the Law of One and the Emerald Tablets of Thoth and, and learn what you may. There's a great deal of wisdom in both of them. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.